Are you looking to highlight every other row in Excel? Well, stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that not only in Excel, also in Google Sheets. First, let's start in Excel and see how we do it in this program. Let's say you have information in your Excel spreadsheet. You kind of want to get it separated with colors. It usually does help. Uh, in many places I've worked, it makes makes a difference when you can uh, do every other uh, row with a color, just to kind of help separate the information. So in this, I'm going to show you. We'll grab the information we want, and then we're going to go to conditional formatting, and then you're going to want to create a new rule, and then use this one right here, the formula one, and I'm going to copy the this code down on the bottom and this is for odd rows there's one for evens too but you put this code and then go to format now formatting you can do a lot with but this right here we're going to show you how to just do the colors real quick just pick whatever color you want hit ok hit ok again click off that and now you can see that you've got every other row colored or what they call filled in Excel this is called filled now let's say you have a sheet that you don't know what kind of information you just want every other row you can do it to an entire sheet just go up there and grab that corner highlight it all do the same thing grab the formula the last one in the box there add the code do the format pick a color hit OK hit OK Now let's say that you want to edit this rule that you've created. You may want to change the colors, whatever the case may be. You go back and highlight it, go and click Manage Rules. And then you'll see your rule there. Just edit it. And then let's say we want to change it to the even rolls. Instead of changing the color, we're just going to say even. So you'll type in from where it says odd, change it to even. Hit OK. Hit Apply and OK. Now you can see that. It's still every other row, but now it's in the even rows. Now it could be that you just wanted to see this just to help you <clears throat> go through data, and you may want to clear all this. That's real simple. All you got to do is highlight what you did, go back to condition formatting, select it, and clear the formatting. Now there are many things you can do with this conditional formatting. I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily coloring the or you know, putting a fill color in your uh, rows. I mean, you can go back to this and let's say just pick the odds. Like I've, I've, I copy and paste this just to show for demonstrations. But you can use, um, let's say you want to change, you can highlight the, you know, the rows like I've showed you, but you might want to change the fonts. And what you might want to do is like, some people only want to create a strike through. So basically, you know, saying this isn't what I want or, you know, I'm done with this or something. But uh, you can change, uh, like put a strike through, and then you can change the color of your font. I mean, there's you can do borders, you know, uh, you can change the formatting as far as currency, whatever. But you can see here, you just try this out, and, and now you have colored fonts instead of you know a highlight row, or you can have highlight row and color fonts. <clears throat> it's just uh, depending on what you're wanting to do with it. Now let's take a look at Google Sheets. The formula that we used in Excel is going to work in the same in Google Sheets, so it's not no big deal. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab you know the cells we want, or you can select the whole page, depending on what you want to do. It really is just a matter of things being in a different spot. So go to Format, and then there you'll find Conditional Formatting, and then just scroll all the way to the bottom here custom form formula and then you're going to put that formula that we used in Excel right here and you can change the colors from this little fill control and done and there you go now maybe that you want to have one row one color and another row and a different color all you got to do is just create a new rule 
and this can be done in Excel and I'll show you how to do that in Excel here in a minute but you just go and change you know the the odd to the even or the even to the odd just pick a different color click done color but just something and then there you go now you have different color codings and the way you clear formatting in Google Sheets is just hit the little delete garbage can right there and it just clears out all the formatting and now in here I'm going to show you the fact the same way you can do the whole page it's the same process either way add your formula pick your color and done and that's how you do it in Google Sheets. Now let's take a look at how to make every row a different color in Excel the same way we did in Google Sheets. It's pretty much the same process. You grab the cells you want or do the whole page. Conditional formatting. You can go to New Rule or you can go down to Manage Rules and click New Rule from, from that box as well. Go back to the formula add your code let's say we're going to do evens pick a color okay and okay now in order to change the colors on the other ones we'll have to create a new rule for those Additional formatting, new rule, formula line, add your code. In this case, we're going to do odds. We'll pick yellow, nice, ugly color to go with this, but you can see that the formula process is pretty much the same in both Excel and the Google Sheets just knowing where the uh, conditional formatting stuff is at and of course just clear rules color coding is great for doing budgets uh, you know just separating data it just has multiple purposes and you probably have some idea of what you need it for so I hope this video helped you, uh, and if you know if you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment. I'll, I usually answer all my comments or questions, and just stay tuned because I'll be doing more videos on crazy different things. See you in the next one.